Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to share you Samsung Galaxy Note 9's tips and tricks. I already have made several videos about the Note 9. Don't forget to watch those videos. If you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button because if you hit that subscribe button, if you subscribe to my channel only then you can support my channel and my content so that I can bring new videos every single day. So in today's video, let's focus on the Note 9's tips and tricks. This will be based on the Samsung's One UI Beta program. Now I have already made a separate video about the One UI Beta program. Uh, do you have to install it? If yes, how do you install? And what are the features that comes along with the One UI Beta experience program? Now I am really, really enjoying this One uh, Beta user experience program. Now of course it isn't in every region. It supports only some of the countries. And if you are uh, living in that country only then can you install. But still, they will be releasing it as an official version in January month, hopefully at the end of the January month, I guess. Uh, so that's when uh, the beta user experience will become official to every Samsung Galaxy Note 9 user. So till then, they will be updating based on the user's feedback and uh, as you guys know, so as you leave the feedback, as the errors uh, pop up, then you can actually report them and based on that, they will release a update. Now, this is a second update that they have released. So based on that update, what are the things that they have changed and, and what are the things that you can do with the new Note 9's user experience or rather user interface. So let's look at that. Let's begin with this video then. So guys, this is the basic user interface of the One UI beta program. Now after the second update, what they have done is they have tweaked a little bit and made some interesting changes to the Note 9's user interface. And the very nice thing about this user interface is that now everything has gotten pretty quick. That means whatever settings you try to change, whatever things you want to do on your Note 9 is very, very easy and convenient now. So that's the positive thing that I can say uh, which has changed with the One UI beta program. So with this new update again, they have actually improved the battery life. So I'm really happy with the current battery life that it gives, uh, be it while playing games, say that you have charged to 100% and you started playing game for an hour. So it will be around 80 to 85%. So that's the drain you get with the new user experience. This has really increased the battery life, I would say this update, uh, but still some are facing the issue. You can actually report it with the Samsung members here. If you just tap on the Samsung members application, here's the beta notices, beta feedback. So you can go to the beta feedback and actually report them. So based on your logs, your system log or rather mobile phones log, they will be changing and releasing new updates in the future. Now, as you can see, the icons uh, theme has changed a little bit after the beta 2. And here's the calculator app. So they have actually revamped the calculator app. Now it is very, very, I would say that makes sense a lot now so as you will see here's the history with the calculator app as you can see here's the history and here's the length calculator area calculator or rather converter temperature converter volume mass and all the things that was inside the menu actually now they have moved it upon here and made it a lot easier and made more sense so this is how they have changed i would say that there were actually more a uh, number of uh, unit converter here but that's missing now but still they have actually given which is more relevant to the user in everyday life so the icons also have been changed as you can see the individual numbers gets a individual circular sort of icon circular or rather rectangular icon interface and this is the landscape mode this is full fledged the scientific calculator as you can see here now again you can use this as a portrait or landscape so little or rather subtle changes has been done to the calculator application which makes more sense now be it on your home screen or on the apps drawer like this you can tap on any of the application and related to that application the functions pop up and makes it very very easy to actually work with that application say that i quickly want to jump to the app info instantly i can go to the app info here and based on everything related to that app you can quickly change here say that i don't want to give the permission for that particular app you can change the permission of that app here itself so this is very easy right now and similarly like apps like messages or apps like internet browser if i just tap on the internet browser you can quickly open the new tab new secret tab search web view bookmarks so all related to that application will pop up right now as a tap and hold so you can quickly uninstall remove from home you can even select the item 
this is how easy and convenient they have made and if I just tap on the call instantly you can check the message calls, you can search for the contact, you can add contacts literally with a single tap here. Now that's very convenient I would say and once you are in the call application here's the keypad of course now it is much more convenient and easy to reach and if you go to the settings over here three dots and settings all the call related settings is here right now with the cards here so as you can see block numbers caller id and spam protection now they have released this spam protection extra and you can actually record calls right now from here itself so auto record calls is here if you just enable all numbers you can actually set the numbers say that you don't want to record call from certain numbers you can actually bring numbers here and remove that number from recording the call otherwise you can choose all numbers and it will automatically record calls and stores in the phone's memory that's a nice thing that they have added now another interesting thing what they have done is inside the camera now the camera user interface has also been revamped as you can see it's uh, there is a lot of changes with these icons now again as a cards menu it pops up like this video super slow what they have done is they have removed the scene optimizer if you are aware there was actually a separate mode for the scene optimization now they have actually removed that and they have made this little circular icon sort of swirling icon i would say if you tap once again it gets enabled so this is the new scene optimizer so if i just tap and hold now it will optimize the picture based on the scene that we have got here so let's say i keep a plant over here and we will see if it recognizes as you can see scene optimizer now it recognizes it as leaves and based on that how it manipulates the image and makes it much more appealing and much more uh, a sort of saturated i would say so this way it optimizes scene right now so there is no separate mode in the new user experience program or rather user interface you just have to tap off and on for the scene optimizer now this is of course the telephoto Again, if I just swipe like this, there is the pro mode. Again, you have got the metering and as you can see, the focusing points can be set over here. There is the 4 is to 3, 16 is to 3 ratio that you can change quickly. Based on the scene, based on your preference, you can change it again. Nothing much has changed over there. Again, inside the food mode here, say that you want to take some really good images of your food that you are eating and you can use this food mode to actually change the color temperature as well as change the saturation of the image let's say this is food and as you can see if i just tap to focus it recognizes and gives a square now you can change the radial filter over here this is new thing with the food mode as you can see how much sharp image you want and what is the area that you want to keep it sharp you can change like this if you want to disable you can just tap on this radial blur gets disabled that means it just uses the spot metering to blur the rest of the things and make this thing sharp so that's how it works if you want to you can blur it even more using the radial blur you can increase the size and decrease and how much blur and how much sharpness you want in the image you can actually do that and then of course click a picture so this is the new thing that they have introduced again if i just tap on over here this circle mark over here this is the white balance you can actually change the color and mode of the food so it makes a lot of sense while you are actually capturing a food rather than any other subjects so changing color tone can make your food warm and uh, or rather look cool so these are the new things that they have given again going to the settings of the camera over here as you can see you have the ability to change the resolution but still you should keep in mind that you have to tap over here to find other resolution or rather other image size as you will see right now 6.2 megapixel 12 megapixel resolution rare picture size 16 is to 9 again you can change the resolution so they have divided and this makes a lot of sense i would say so this is a new thing it all depends on your personal preference of course now if i move to the settings over here again as you can see rare picture size from 4 is to 3 12 megapixel to 6.2 again 4 is to 3 if you want to capture images in 16 is to 9 aspect ratio again you have uh, two options over here again 18.5 is to 9 it doesn't have any other option because the image size obviously gets reduced right over here and here's the 1 is to 1 um, if you want to capture square images just use this 1 is to 1 resolution and quickly as you take the image you can share it on the Instagram again there are a lot of changes that has happened inside this one as you will see in the stories in the albums in the shared in the pictures now there are much more relative 
uh, to what you are doing so it recognizes automatically sometimes if I just tap and hold the gallery application as you will see right now search gallery so if you want to search the gallery you can quickly search and based on the images that you have taken it will sort and give the names to the folders panorama live focus using selfie using super slow-mo so all sorts of that it organizes itself and makes it a lot easier and convenient to find any pictures that you are looking for inside your gallery so guys these were the changes of course there are a lot of things that have changed again as I find those changes I'll make a video about that again it gets a lot lengthy so I'll keep it short so we will look at those things in another video hit that subscribe button if you are new to my channel don't forget to like this video share with your friends see you all in another one this beast is an awesome phone if you are looking to buy a new Samsung Galaxy Note 9 don't hesitate to uh, put your cash in it it's worth every penny alright guys see you all in another one until then take care bye bye